Hi everyone, today I want to show you my plumeria plant. In winter time, this plumeria was blooming for me and on April I took it outside. In Missouri, in mid-April was very cold and my plumeria is frozen from the cold. And now I want to show you here what's going on with my plumeria you see it's black because it's frozen and the stem was black from the freeze and now this um, I was waiting for it maybe something will change but it's dead and now I have to see how it's black inside now I have to cut this plumeria and help this plant I wanted to show you how to propagate plumeria plant. Before cutting this plant, I will show you how you can pro propagate uh, your plumeria if you have healthy plumeria. I wanted to make that video before, but see, it was not written for this plumeria uh, to be propagated. And now I have to save this plumeria. Uh, usually what I do, for example, I have this stem, this kind of long stem. I cut till here. And this stem will grow two or three new shoots from this place. And if I cut this also, the stems also, here were three branches. Now, I yesterday I cut this two ones and only one, this one is left. And if you have this kind of health, uh, this kind of plumeria, for example, let's ta let's take this is healthy plumeria, and we want to propagate from this stem. We cut from here, and it will um, from the cut place later, uh, new branches will start growing. And if you cut from this place, from this stem, will grow two new branches, and you have bushy plumeria plant here you will have um, fr from three branches you you may have nine or six branches um, for example last year i cut this uh, stem from here i made long cutting and i understood my mistake from that it's better to cut short and later you will have this kind of two branches from the cut place see i had two branches so this one is one and here i had another one from here i had two branches already see and how long it is i maybe it's uh, close to the to one meter i i know i don't know it's long this is a long stem and i cut it last year and from this place i had another uh, branch this one see and my kids when this plumeria was inside the house my kids fall on my plumeria and they broke the stem and if you cut from you know if you take small cutting short cutting you will have here branch and you can make bushy plumeria and later if you want to propagate again you can cut from lowest part and you will have here two branches and from this place you can cut and you this plumeria will start growing again new branches from this place and from this long stem you can make two or three propagations not one i did one long see i took this much you know this much uh, cutting from that plumeria from here and it was this much it's it was too long and it rooted it anyway it roots it's a it's very easy to propagate plumeria it, there is nothing complicated here and this plumeria grows see how long it grew and it started blooming from this place this is a place where it had a flower spike and after it bloomed out this plumeria see it branched it has two branch branches and see and now it's dead but if you cut shorter if you take short uh, cutting uh, from that 
branch you will have two branches here and later you can cut again and you can propagate again or you can leave as is and you will have bushy plumeria in your plumeria plant don't cut long stem don't take long it's better to take short and later to propagate again from the from this long stem and now um, I, I hope that this plumeria will grow for me now I have to help this plumeria a little bit see it's brown it was frozen and it's staying outside under the rain here in Missouri nowadays it, it's raining every day and let me ta take my knife maybe I will use or I will use big knife or small knife I don't know now let's try and see it's uh, this place is black and this place is brown I see that it's not healthy till here I want to cut uh, from this place I think and I have to make ankle cut and see see it's brown from this place it will not grow and I have to go a little bit far from this place and see again if I can uh, save this plumeria or not see it's brown all that the stem is all that it's frozen and I don't know here it's a little bit brown not too much but it's not healthy from this place the new branch will not grow anyway and see it's dead this plumeria is dead I think and if I go a little bit down I will see see it's still brown I don't know if this plumeria will live or not let's take a bigger knife and see it's uncomfortable to work with big knife and I think this plumeria will not live I don't know we will see I will leave this much I think I will uh, I will leave it I don't have any choice but I will leave it and this uh, small plumeria is all gone you see it's brown and I want to see the roots I think the whole plumeria is dead see even the roots are dead see well I mean is coming easily and the strings are left and this plumeria is left it will not grow see it's dead it's decayed okay this plumeria is live I know it's not that this small one I don't know somehow it's not frozen and but anyway I have to cut this also see it's live if it's live it has to look white like this it's clean but this one is not clean see it's brown I don't know if this one will grow or not but this one will grow see I took that part here is dead in this one this place is dead if I cut you will see it's brown see it's brown and from this place nothing will grow and this from this place that this decaying part it can grow down and it will ki it can kill this uh, the rest of the plant too if I don't cut now let's uh, see this plumeria because see how, mu how much I cut this much from one plumeria you know it's it was long and blooming plumeria now it's dead I took it early uh, which I didn't need to do that I took it early outside and now it's dead and let me wash my knife this branch is dead see the top of the branch but it's not too much dead 
and I, if I cut I, I want to cut a little bit and see see it's still brown and I have to cut till live tissue till I see the green part see it's still brown I don't know see it's brown it's decaying see from this part and let's see this branch what's going on here this is better but this part see it's better from the uh, from top it's dead from the bottom it's better see if I cut the top it's brown it's dead see how it's frozen and this branch I, I have to see this is good see it's green and I cut this much only and here is brown a little bit there are some in some places it's brown and in some places it's green see it's brown it will not branch if it's brown and I think it's life from here yeah it's life see now I can leave it it's better and this branch let's see this branch this is dead till here it's soft and brown I don't need to cut from top and from this place it seems better and I will cut this one meter from this place see it's brown and let's go a little bit down and cut it now it's better and this branch only this branch is left I don't know somehow it survived from freezing it's not dead new leaves are coming out from this branch maybe it was hiding I don't know how how froze didn't touch this stem and this is also that see it's brown till here and from this place I want to cut it's dead I have to go down see but I will leave it in the sea because it's not mushy it's not soft here I will leave it um, okay this uh, stem I have to clean I cut it yesterday but I didn't put anything I had to, put, to put cinnamon or charcoal something to dry out this wound and see it's good now I will apply or wood charcoal I have to make powder from this but I have ready uh, to use charcoal capsules and I wanna use this one it doesn't matter whatever you use you can use cinnamon if you have I wanna use charcoal and I will apply some charcoal uh, on the wounds it's sticking to my hands my hands are a little bit wet and that's why let me open it okay it's coming like this and here some and in these places also and I will do with all of this
Now I applied uh, charcoal on the stem and this will help to this plumeria. It will not rot, it will not continue rotting. This uh, charcoal will help to dry out. If you can use, you can use cinnamon also. And when I told my friend that my plumeria is frozen, she brought me two cuttings from her plumeria plant. These two cuttings. That uh, my my friend she gave me this plumeria and I propagated from this plumeria, and I planted in this pot. Here I had three plumerias. W one tiniest one is survived and the middle one is dead and i will show you how i propagate from any from any length you can propagate plumeria if you have short cutting like this from the top from the green part you, you can propagate i propagated plumeria from different size from the longest size here i, sh I showed you from this uh, plumeria it was long cutting and I propagated from that and I here I had uh, which I took out from this I had a uh, middle size pl plumeria and it rooted also and this is very small tiniest tiniest one and this rooted also uh, it doesn't matter what uh, size you take all of them will root and they root easily but it takes time for, uh, um, probably months uh, it will take months and you will see uh, roots very strong healthy roots growing after mon months I think it will fill your pot the um, roots will fill your pot and you will see that your plumeria propagation was success is successful and now let's propagate these two branches which my friend Vlasta brought for me thank you Vlasta now I am gonna propagate these two branches here on the table I have uh, cups I can plant in cups usually what I do I cut soda can uh, soda bottle and I make holes here and I put my plumeria cutting in the soda bottle because I want I like to see roots growing how they are developing this is clear and it's very easy to see through this that's why I like to plant my plumeria cuttings in the uh, soda bottle but it was my f uh, when I planted uh, when I propagated first time I planted it in soda bottle but later when my kids they broke my plumeria cuttings uh, most of time they broke and I didn't plant them in the soda bottle I planted right away under my plumeria plant and they uh, rooted very successful and either, even I don't uh, dry out my cuttings first time when I propagated I did uh, as it is told in the instructions uh, I cut and I let it dry for three days and see my friend she already bought, brought for me uh, cutting the, that is dry see she cut this uh, branch and she dipped it in rooting hormone and now it's dry and it's ready to propagate but later when I propagated my plumerias I didn't do this I right away when the cutting was fresh I dipped in rooting hormone this is rooting hormone which I use for my all propagations it's available in Lowe's in Walmart in Home Depot Menards in any kind of stores you can find this rooting hormone it's available everywhere and I use this one and what I do I cut and the fresh uh, fresh cutting I dip in rooting hormone and I right away plant it it doesn't matter where you plant but I will show you two ways which I use first way is I plant my plumeria cutting in vermiculite and perlite mixture 
I will show you how I do it. I made drainage holes with a knife. I cut the bottom of the plastic bottle and now I will fill it with verma vermiculite and perlite mixture. This is the first way of propagating plumeria. Like this, I take uh, my perlite and vermiculite mixture. I just put it like this and I plant my plumeria. It is, uh, it has rooting hormone under and I can show you even how to dip it. I take my plumeria cutting and I dip it in rooting hormone like this. See? I dip uh, till here. She dipped only the bottom, but I dip till here. And um, I place it in the vermiculite and perlite mixture like this. Till the end. And now, when I water this, this perlite and vermiculite mixture, they will stick to each other and they will not let this uh, plumeria cutting to uh, move from side to side. It will not shake. I will show you. Here is my water. I take some water and I put some water. I have to water it. I can even water from the cup, but I'm watering it slowly, see? And this mixture will stick to each other. You see, it's not moving. It's holding the stem. This is the first way. And whenever I see that uh, the top of the vermiculite and perlite is dry, I will put a little bit water, not much. I have to uh, water it uh, until the... See, it's, uh, I watered it till here. You, you can see easily which part is moist and which part is dry. I have to put a little bit more water. No. This is the first way of, see, water is coming out and here I have my other pot which has drainage holes in the bottom and I can take my soil. This is, uh, I made this soil for my um, Hoyas. Here I have uh, regular soil for, for my plants. This uh, potting soil I use for all of my plants and I take some or even um, I can plant this uh, plumeria under my plumeria plant. I'm not gonna use uh, different um, Pot for this cutting. Let's show you how I do usually with my other plumerias. The in this pot, in this plumeria pot, I want to plant this cutting. I don't want to take separate pot for this, and you will see how it will work. I if I see new roots, if uh, this will root, I will update and show you. It's very easy if you plant uh, your propagating cutting in you in the pot where you grow plants they will root faster and whenever you water this plumeria it will take water whenever it's dry it will dry you know it's very easy to keep it moist and uh, even you cannot over water this cutting because this 
plumeria it will take the extra moisture because it has roots already and this will stay all, always moist not soggy and it will not stay dry even because I have to water this plumeria plant all the time when it's whenever I see that soil is dry see how I am making hole under this uh, plumeria and I will place this cutting here like this and leave it and that's it it's very easy if you don't have if you are planting your new uh, plumeria uh, plant uh, plumeria cutting you can plant it in a pot and weigh it but I have plumeria already growing or if you don't um, have plumeria flower where you can plant your new cutting you can plant under any uh, any tree or any flower if you have potted flowers in the pot you can plant under the flowers or under the trees for example I can plant this plumeria under this uh, fig also and later when I see the roots I can take it and replant it but now I have my plumeria and I planted it here anything will work don't worry it's very easy to propagate plumerias thank you for watching if you like this video please put thumbs up and if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you bye